don't like it. It's, it's no, no numbers. There's no pictures. There's no videos. There's no, no gameplay. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Prison Beard's Voyage. In spring comes summer. It's been a long time since I thought of my story, but I'm running out of days to tell it. If ye be seeking the vault of the prestigious Prison Beard, you're on the right trail. Became a pirate for one reason, to piss off my father. Ain't common in grim-looking culture to stay close to your parents, but I did just to spite him. The name of my ship, Eobard's Revenge, is his, though he hated that more than anything. I heard even his neighbours would ask him about my pillagings. So they built up the crew, Grimalkin and Majiri alike. We became the merriest band of vault raiders this side of Palia that ever did see. Everything changed when I finally met Camilla. She had me at sword point right at this very cliffside. The rest of this story is one only a real treasure hunter can know. In summer comes fall. Where was I? Right, met the love of my life with her sword to my throat. She'd gotten each and every member of me crew loaded to the gunwales at her camp, then sent them back to the ship. Once I was alone, she followed me up the hill when I went to drop some water weight, and had me at sword point before I could call for help. Not that it'd do any good. Said she had the map to the greatest Grimalkin vault of all time, and was taking me, ship, and crew to find it. Unfortunately for her, she couldn't resist my catty charms, convinced her to take me with her, and I became her first mate. The path to the Great Vault was an adventure too incredibly insulty to describe, and the whole time we grew closer and closer, camped up and down this shore. I'd like to think this very camp was where we fell in love. After two years of searching, I began to question whether we even cared anymore. Camilla, however, never forgot, and one day we made landfall near the vault. That story is a whole treasure on its own. And I'm out of dry paper. I'll save, save it for the next statue. In fall comes winter. In case you noticed the mix of Majiri and human ruins, I wasn't exactly going to build this vault myself. In telling the story of the greatest vault raid to ever happen, Camilla had finally found the great vault of Grimalkus, and we just needed to get through it. Suppose this is where things get kinda sad. The traps on the vault, they were too dangerous to be sending the crew into. Told her not, not to go in. Tried to tell her we already had enough to live out our lives to old age. She pulled rank on me for the first time in years. Sent me to my own brig. She took the crew in, and I don't know what happened in there. I waited one day, two days. On the third I broke out of the brig, I had a spare key. When I came to the deck, there was no sign of them. By the seventh day on that blasted island, I finally accepted the truth. Not all vaults are meant to be pilfered. Managed to sail Eobard's Revenge back to the port myself, and did some things I'm not the proud of. Eventually, I built up, I put up some memorials for the crew in that garden in Kalima. I visit them every so often. Much as I'd love for you to think of me a legend, I'm just a Grimalkin, and once you understand my tale, perhaps you'll have a treasure of your own. In winter comes spring. So you solved it. Enjoy the treasure of Prison Beard, the prestigious Yalaba. Truth is, any real treasure I had is long gone. The crew, the gal, the ship. Well, not the ship. Still have that. And I'll sink it before the likes of ye can have it. Funny to write that. I always thought that line was something corny that uh, lovers repeated to make themselves feel better. And don't get me wrong. Treasure is great. But I spent it most of it buying the crew and C Camilla lovely things. To get the heat off our backs. Seeing them happy, well that made me happier than any gold locked in the vault ever could. You can't spend it when you're dead, yeah. The Ark said I ain't got many good years left. Thing is, I still got my ship, a few good lads, and a heart ready to be filled with new adventures. Plus, I hear word of some waters that might cure my ails, way out there across the sea. The real treasure, the memories of those old people, those old adventures, that'll stick with me until the end. Camilla made these for me before she passed. Hope her memory can bring you as much joy as it brings me. And that, Freemers, is the end of Prison Beard's Voyage. So, I have some theories about the whole story, and we'll talk about it, but I do feel like there is a deeper story here. Um, I don't know if we're going to get, like, clarification, but I like to believe that... 
I, I don't know. I feel like Prism Beard is Zeki. Now, y you might think I'm crazy for saying that. But, I don't know. I feel like if, if that's the case, then Zeki's not told us everything. And that there's a lot of, we don't know about him. But if, if it's the case that he is Prism Beard... We need clarification, you know. I I do think like there's there's some hints. The fact that you know, um, in Zeki's level four relation or level four um friendship quest, he says he ran into the cartel. And if you like look in one of the entries, he said he think, did some things he's not proud of. So Zeki could be Prison Beard. It's not really clear if that's the case, but I'm gonna leave it up to speculation. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I do think he could be Prison Beard, um, because he says he's he ain't got many good years left. So, but we don't know how old Zeki is or if he's on his last leg. But there is that possibility. However, I want to just kind of talk about this whole story. It's like there's kind of like this starting point of, you know, Prison Beard just wanted to be a pirate. He wanted to sail the seas to piss off his father. That's the whole point. Um. And his ship ended up, and ship and crew ended up being taken by Camilla, which, you know, I think is a play on words with Kalima, but either that's coincidence or there's meaning behind that. But the thing is, like, if she takes over the crew because she wants to find this vault. They end up having a good, like, couple of years together, and they, and everyone else forgets about the vault while Camilla has not. And then the end of the story goes, she takes the whole crew with her, and goes into the vault and they never come out and they die. And then Prison Beard makes graves for them at Kalima and that's the end of the story. And he kind of like um he just he says he's not gonna be years left, so he probably I wanna say he stayed in Kalima. But that's what I think he did. Um and he's probably either in Bahari City or it's Zeki. We don't know. But um, I think the moral of this whole story is, is that um, <laughs> there's a big moral to it. I think it's like, uh, you know, don't let greed overtake you, I guess, and enjoy the few things you do have in life. You know, I think that's kind of the whole moral of the story. Because, yeah, it's it's interesting that um, like Prison Beard knew that the real treasure was the memories of those old people, those old adventures, and that'll stick with them until the end. Like that that's super cool and I I love that part of the storytelling. So yeah, that was Prism Beard's Voyage. Um let me know what you guys thought of the story if you liked it. Um I don't know if I'm the first person to find all the entries. I might be, but um I don't know. But I really like that story. I think it's one of my favorites. It's one I'm gonna hold up there with all the others. But anywho, thank you guys for watching. If you did, I appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.